Have you ever wondered how McDonald's french fries are made? Are they even potatoes? How about Oreos or jelly beans? We're gonna be looking at how all our favorite foods are made. Is that onion rings? It's like hopscotch. You know Funyuns are one of my favorite foods? What do you eat? Onions that are fun. Look at them getting tossed around in that big rolling machine. Yeah, I'd pull a few sister around. You know what I mean? My girlfriend hates when I eat Funyuns just because of how bad your breath smells. And I'm getting lucky with that one. What the hell is going on here? Cornmeal. So they're really not onion rings. They're made out of cornmeal. What is that, like GMO City? Frito-Lay. Frito-Lay owns everything now. Go some my way, will you? This guy's a legend. How many Funyuns do you think you eat today? Three bakes? I wish that I could be one of these Funyuns and just go through the whole system and then come out with all the seasoning all over me. It's like a water puff. It'd be delicious. Jelly beans. My favorite candy in the world. Yeah? Delicious. I like the fake ones where they taste like I actually can't believe I've never learned how jelly beans are made given how much I love them. Yeah, I don't even know what they consist of. What is that? There's just a ton of cornstarch. Yeah, that's what runs this world these days. Yeah, why do you think Americans are all doozy old bathtub says? What? Look at that thing. Wow. They punch the molds out of starch for the jelly beans? Yeah, so it don't stick. A million an hour. A million jelly beans per hour. Half a cent in jelly bean, do the math. My favorite flavor, buttered popcorn. I didn't even know that was a flavor. It's the best. Why don't you just do like the red or the blue? Never in a million years would I think this makes jelly beans. Oh, they clear. That's pretty sick. It's like gelatin. They look amazing. They look like daily multivitamins. They're getting tossed around just like the Funyuns. <laughs> there you go. There's the flavor. So you think every single jelly bean center tastes the exact same? Yeah, I guess. You just gotta rub it off a little bit and it's clear and it's probably just, it's cornstarch. You're eating pure sugar. But all this time I thought the inside was what had the flavor and it looks like it's just just the outside. Nah, you're just bamboozled. Hot syrup? What are we doing here? Pancakes? This is fantastic. This is phenomenal. It's very satisfying, I must say. It's extremely satisfying. How does he know how much sauce to put on them? Because he's a professional jelly bean maker. What is that? This is how they get shiny. Shining like a diamond. They look perfect. They do look good. Throw me in that whole thing and toss me around with those jelly beans. About 1800 cavities where I'm staring at. Purple, I didn't even know they made purple ones. Three and a half days. To make a jelly bean? It'll take 22 seconds. What do we got here? Is that dough? Is this for pizza? Domino's. This is Domino's. Guilty, I've had it before. They say no one out pizzas the hut, but I honestly think that once in a while, Domino's out pizzas the hut. Bread sticks of fire. Yeah, when you trash, Domino's hits. 500 pounds of ingredients in each mixer for their dough. Dough has like three ingredients. I don't understand. 500 pounds? Flour, water, salt, sugar, yeast, and oil. They just gave us their recipe. Dough sucks anyway. Did you just see that? They have an elevator for their dough. It's perfectly cut and boiled. Nobody's it's even doing it. There's no touch. That's why it's not class. Where's the human touch for this? They do the hocus pocus when they're ready to make the video. Oh, they already put it in the, the jars. What do they call that? The hey doings? Domino's ingredients trap. I like the Domino's tracker, even though it's probably all fake. Whoa! Is that buttermilk? How many cows do you need to make that much milk? Look at that engine, cuz. That's a lot of milk. Yeah, she's pretending to work. You're not working. Whoa! So what are they making here? Butter? Centrifugal force. Centrifugal force. You remember that from science class? Sure. Oh, butters. It's butter. Butter. Pound of butter, two pounds of butter. Churning. This guy's voice is putting me to sleep. Get a little pep in your step, cuz. Wow. I think it's crazy how you can take something as white as milk and turn it into this yellow butter. Look at that. What is he putting? Sugar? Salting. Salt. Salt, man. Are you a salted or unsalted butter kind of guy? Salted. Like in general. You do unsalted? I like salted. Take salted, unsalted, and what's an L? I know where you're at if you do unsalted. Whoa. Look at that guy. I would just take a spoonful of that. Now. That looks delicious. Like the first sting of a peanut butter. Smoother than a fresh drop. What kind of sauce are they making with these peppers? You think it's Tabasco? Tabasco or Sriracha. 100% Sriracha. I got $30. I'm gonna go with Tabasco. I think you know a little bit more than me. Yeah. What is that? No one really seems to know that hot sauce is fermented. What does that even mean? It's fermented. Like wine? Yeah. So you can get a little tipsy off it? No. Well, that's useless. Go drink a bottle of hot sauce. We'll find out right away. Salt on the barrel. What's that doing? Three years for hot sauce? Would you wait that long for hot sauce? Because I wouldn't wait 32 seconds. They churn it for three to four weeks? Like that? For three weeks straight? Yeah. Is that healthy? I think so. It gets it moving and grooving. Think about turning on a blender for three to four weeks. Doesn't it go like combust? I thought it would blow up too. You're gonna get lost in the sauce. Tabasco. Look at you. You were right. When you're right, you're right. When you're wrong, you're wrong. Imagine being a taste tester for Tabasco. No, I couldn't. My though would kill me. Okay. What is this, Tyson? Tenderloin? I'll give you the tenderloin. Speaking of chicken tenderloins, they need to bring back the chicken selects to McDonald's. I feel like it could be KFC. Oh, it's Tyson, it says. Oh, this is for chicken McNuggets. McNuggets or just nuggets? 
Oh uh, yeah, that looks healthy. Yeah, stop lying to yourself. So to be clear, are they telling us in this that the McDonald's chicken nuggets is not that disgusting pink slime that everyone saw online? Yeah, but I'm not buying it. That looks like pink slime. That is nugget mix. Yeah, that looks gross. But I'll take a 10 piece any day of the week. McDonald's, water, that's healthy. Food starch, it's not what you need. I don't exactly know if I would call a chicken nugget juicy, would you? Hey, yeah, dump it in the barbecue sauce, and juicy all day long, cuz. I go barbecue sauce, ranch, bite. Well, that kind of does look similar, no? It's pretty much the same thing. This is some propaganda. This is nugget propaganda. How did they get them into those shapes, though? They didn't show us that part. You know there's four different McNugget shapes? No, I didn't know that. I never get a time to look at it. I just take it down real quick. There's bone, boot, ball, and bell. Boat, boot, ball, metal, hey, nose. You gotta know your nugget shapes. So they fry it, and then they, oh, they partially cook it. Look at them shaking around back there. Yeah, really shaking back there, huh? What do you think that is, 20 pieces? McDonald's should sell their nuggets in the grocery store. Would you buy frozen McDonald's nuggets? Yeah, I'd be on a subscription base every week. What is this? Are those peanuts? Oh, is that ginger? Are those eggs? Potatoes, potatoes. Those are potatoes? Potatoes. Are they making french fries? I hope so. Yes, they are making french fries. You got a little bit way too happy about that. Look at them, they're jiggling again. We're learning that most of the food we eat gets thrown around and shaken all over the place before we get it. These fries are taking the ride of their lives right yeah, now. Yeah, they're having a good time. These look like Mickey D's. I think these are probably McDonald's fries. Who else is going to be making this many French fries? They are top tier fries, I have to be honest with you. Nobody makes fries better than McDonald's. Or DC. That's Mickey D's, right? Yeah. Golden brown, drop it, pull it up, shake it three times. That's what they do to get the oil out. But here's what I do. I always order unsalted fries. They come out hot, they come out crispy. Add your own salt. The workers hate you. Just know. Do they? Yeah, they got to make a fresh batch just for your dumb Certified organic. Listen, they got everyone full with this organic nonsense. What is he making? Cocoa powder. It's chocolate, 100%. Chocolate cake? What is it? Nah, it's, oh, maybe it's like the instant chocolate batter. It's gotta be something mass produced. No it's on how it's made. What do you think this is, an owner's kitchen? There you go, canola oil, get the trans fats in there. Just what we need. It looks like hot chocolate. Dry ice. Dry ice. Yeah, that's healthy for you. That looks pretty cool. I didn't know you could just toss that in a recipe like that though. Organic. What do they make? That's the secret sauce right there. That's the stuff they don't want the employees to know about and go leak to everybody. Yeah, looks like he's shoveling sh in the backyard. It looks like manure. Oh, it's cookies. Look at that. They're Oreos, aren't they? You think it's Oreos? Oh, no, they just said biscuits. Is it an Oreo a biscuit? If it's Oreos, I'd rather see how to make the filling. The filling's good. I know how they make the filling. <laughs> so these Thin Mints, the Oreos, what's going on here? Look at them go. 90 miles an hour. How many Speeding tickets, that is. They look like Oreos to me. It's an Oreo. That is beautiful. Ah, uh, there you go. There it is. They're not going to show us the creamy filling, though. They got to keep the cream a secret. How do they do the double stuff? You think they just run it twice? Oh. Or you think it's like a different how mold? How do they do the double stuff? I want to see how to make the filling, and I want to see how they do the double stuff Oreos. The mega stuff is crazy. Wrap it up before you eat it, you know what I mean? That's not an Oreo, though. That does not look like an Oreo. That's like a European Fugazi nonsense that I would still take down with no pride. Newman O's. Newman O's. That's a copy of Oreo. Let's be honest. What is this? Black and white cookie? That's like what it looks like after Taco Bell, you know? What do we got going Kit on? Kit Big fan of the Kit Kat. You know what I, I like the thick Kit Kat. It's that one bar that's yeah. just a fatty. I like that. It's like a stogie. Tree wafers are stacked. I would say Kit Kats are a mid-tier candy for me. They're a solid seven six, you know what I mean? You're not embarrassed that you took them home from the bar, but you can do about it. These machines are crazy. This is like some real high technology. Kit Kats are being made by actual robots. I don't think there's one person in this factory. I have not seen a single human yet. Next time you eat a Kit Kat, you'll know that no human touched this. I robots taking over Kit Kat. That's all day long. Is that pork? No, that's beef tenderloin. That's class. What are they making? Shredding it? This could be like a McDonald's hamburger. They left so much silver skin on there though. That's gross. That's actually good looking ground beef. Oh, this is a science lab. This is straight out of Breaking Bad. I mean, these are probably more dangerous than what he was making. My heart's slowing down just looking at, oh, it's Big a Mac. Big Mac. McDonald's is ruling the world. I ate a Big Mac the other day. Yeah, I do that like twice a week, so. They're shaking again. Shake your meat, cuz. <laughs> Even the workers are moving around. Is that frozen? Yeah. I can sleep at night knowing that Big Macs are made from real meat. 